Hi Amanda, thank you for joining us. Would you like to tell us a little bit about your map portfolio? I wanted to use the StoryMap Cascade template to create a portfolio to represent myself to future employers in kind of a way that's a little bit more creative and a little bit more personal. Helpful. A lot more creative. So did you make this while you were still in school and you saw graduation on the horizon? I actually created it when I was in my internship. So I was seeking out positions and I was kind of frustrated the way that the current world works with just paper resumes and paper cover letters. I don't feel like I could really like present myself. I think it's great. I mean, because you're a map maker and what better way to present yourself in your work than by making a story map cascade, so well done. Thank you. Are these like some of your favorite maps that you've made? Do you want to maybe walk us through and show us a couple of the examples that you have in your portfolio? Absolutely, I can cool. do that. I saw it to start out with kind of an about me. Uh, since I have an interesting background, I started with a major in geology and kind of integrated into the GIS world and that's kind of been my career launch from there. I also wanted to explain some of my skills and show some of my work experience, similar to what my cover letter or resume would cover, but kind of accentuate it in my portfolio. This is where I wanted to kind of show some of the applications that I've made. I used really rich, engaging photos, because I think that's the best part of Story Maps, is the Cascade template especially. It gives you that immersive experience with rich photos, it's dynamic, you're able to link out to other things. Could you Show us some of the things that you're working on now. What's the latest and greatest that you're doing for Three Rivers? Yeah, absolutely. So this was one of the story maps that I made for Three Rivers Park District. I wanted to find a way to present some of the work that we've done recently. I recently was working with our wildlife division um, on monitoring the breeding pattern of osprey. Awesome. To observe them in the Minneapolis area since they were reintroduced um, a long time ago. So we've been kind of monitoring them over time and they have volunteers that go out in the field and observe the nests throughout their breeding cycle in the summer um, and we needed a platform for them to be able to record these observations. So I was able to use Web App Builder to be able to click on, if you clicked on one of the points, it's using the Smart Editor widget and I created a cascading form. So based off of different answers, so if we were to put in an observation, you can click to take field notes or if they were to click on making a final observation, concurring fields would pop down based off of what their selection is. So on the back end we're using GeoEvent and the GeoEvent's pushing the data to a related table um, and that's what's presenting it. And then operations dashboard, you're able to monitor different things about the osprey such as like the breeding behavior and what observations have been tracked or the occupied nests or the young that have been observed for each nest. And so these were different measures that our wild earth resources needed to know. They've been tracking it through a spreadsheet this entire time. And there's a lot of room for error in those spreadsheets as we yeah. found, but the data doesn't lie when it's automated. So right. learning about it this way has been really fascinating to see those number counts change over the course of the last project to this project. And this is an embedded live link to your applications. It's not a screenshot. No. This is this the is application live. embedded within a yep. story map. It is. It is live and you're able to zoom in or filter by the different nests that you need to see. So if we wanted to learn about the 494 and 100 nest, the entire dashboard filters to learn more about that nest and that osprey and how it's doing. Love seeing your work and your creative use of the technology. Thank you so much. Best of luck to you in the future. Thank you, I appreciate it.